Good morning, teachers and students. Today is Wednesday, and you know what day that is, Recycling Day. Please take a moment to take your paper recycling boxes outside your classroom door for pickup by the Eco Action Team. Let's see which classrooms recycles the most this week. <music> Millions and millions of tons of paper are wasted by schools and educational institutions. Paper waste has become a pressing concern since educational institutions use paper the most. Royal Palm Elementary is part of the Miami-Dade County Public School District, the fourth largest district in the United States. And with 467 schools and more than 350,000 students, we realize that the impact of our actions is very significant to South Florida and the world. We understood that we needed to act now and implement a student-led paper and cardboard recycling program. Our goal is to show and hopefully inspire other schools that they can also start a successful recycling program that will have a positive impact, not only in our community, but in future generations. The school decided to register in the Eco School USA program, a sustainability education program led by the National Wildlife Federation. The program's seven-step framework has proven the most effective and practical method to integrate STEAM curriculum with project-based learning. The first thing we had to do to start a paper and cardboard recycling program was to figure out who was going to do it. A group that every year would change as students leave or enter the school. We created an equal action team formed by students from 4th and 5th grade. The team also has teachers and school staff. The second step was to conduct a consumption and waste audit to see what was our biggest waste and how we could reduce the garbage our schools produce. We shared the results with the school community and let them know what we already suspected, that most of our trash in our classroom is paper. Once we had the results of our trash audit, the Eco Action Team got together with the lead Eco School teacher and the principal to create paper and cardboard recycling program that we could run ourselves without much adult supervision. Every Wednesday at 10.30 a.m., the Eco Action Team starts a recycling round. We collect the box from a classroom, we weigh it, and we write down the number of pounds each classroom recycles every week. Every week, the principal announces which classroom recycled the most. We also check the boxes for contamination. And if we find the box that has been contaminated with other materials that are not paper or cardboard, we leave a warning note inside the box. Then we transfer all this data to a big bar graph in our Eco School Bulletin Board, which everyone can see and keep track of. And at the end of the school year, we announce how many tons of paper and cardboard we diverted from the landfill, the number of trees we saved, and the amount of CO2 captured from the atmosphere. First, we practice reducing our use of paper, and then we recycle. Last year, we recycled more than two tons of paper. You would be amazed how much small actions like these add up. If every school in the world would just recycle paper, it would make a huge impact on our atmosphere and planet. We learned that it was very important to share the results of the trash audit and action plan with the entire school community, teachers, parents, school staff, and most importantly, with the maintenance personnel. When we share this message, then everyone knows the why and the how of our recycling program. They participate and collaborate more, making it easier to recruit volunteers and helpers. This makes it much more fun for the students and it brings them a sense of pride. We communicate with our community in every way we can think of. We use our schools, bulletin boards, school assemblies, 
morning and afternoon announcements, school website, social media, and my favorite, the one that provides a great opportunity for project-based learning and curriculum integration for the students is our Eco Newsletter. The fourth and fifth grade students learn to use a free online tool to design and write their own school Eco Newsletter. They're integrating technology with arts and language arts. This is a super fun step. Our team gets to brainstorm and to be creative to get our message we want to share with the whole school. We want adults to know that this is our planet. We need to take care of it. If not us, then who? How does it make you feel to be part of the recycling team at your school? It makes me feel good uh, helping the earth and other people. It feels good to help the community, to teach them how to recycle more. It makes me feel important because you have to have, a, you have, it's a big responsibility. We're saving the world, we're helping the world, we're helping our community. It makes me feel great because uh, I'm helping my school and it gets me out of stress because you're walking around and like picking up the bins from the recycling and then you weigh it and that's fun. It feels amazing because I'm making a difference in the world and saving a nature's beauty. And I hope the recycling team also motivates other schools to do the same thing. We challenge you to take charge Organize an eco action team at your school and start a recycling program today. Mic check. <laughs>